Hey y'all, Jimmy and Lisa here with Find Us Camping. We've had a lot of questions lately on how to we level our fusion with that new equalizer the level EQ up EQ smart level system. <laughs> so we're going to kind of go through what we do. Um, she's getting ready to hook. It's already hooked up to the truck right now, and she's going to bring the feet up, and we'll show you how she does that. And then when we get to her favorite harvest host in an hour or two. We will unhook and we'll do a whole video on how we've unhooked it. So she's going to show you right now what she does and we'll see you at the Harvest Host. So we're already hooked to the truck. Um, I want to show you there's two different ways to raise the feet once you're hooked up. Uh, the guy from Equalizer showed me one that's not I guess a trick but something that isn't necessarily put out there in the directions so first of all your power would already be on as you hooked it to the truck you can either hit all retract and wait that's all retract is only going to bring up the back four legs the front two are going to stay down so if you want to bring them all up at the same time you're going to hit the down for the front feet that's going to bring the front of the camper down and then while you hold that down hit all retract it'll go through a series of beeps and then when you let go it'll continue till it brings all six up so either way either this and then manually bring up the front or just start the front hit all retract and now it's going to bring all six feet up together And then when it's done, everything will stop. And then you're just gonna power it off. Just to be careful, I always then take a trip around to make sure everything came up as far as it needs to before we hit the road. So we're done here. I'm gonna do my walk around and then we're gonna hit the road. favorite harvest host, Settler Post, Clydesdale Farm in Mechanicsville, Maryland. If you're a harvest host member and you haven't been here, you need to check them out. And we're going to get the truck off of the, we're going to get the trailer off of the truck. First step is power on. And then the way the arrows work is we want the front of the trailer to go up. So we're going to push the top. We're gonna do this until the front feet get on the ground. We're gonna look for the little gap between the hitch and the pen wheel, pen box. So we just lift it up until the pen box just separates from the fifth wheel hitch, enough that you can see through it. Um, and then we're gonna unlock everything. Jimmy's gonna pull off and then we'll get back to leveling. So there's a couple different variations here. We're going to do auto level, which is what probably you're gonna most commonly do. But if there arises a situation that you need to control the jacks manually and not do an auto level, something you need to keep in mind is all four back jacks need to be on the ground and it needs to feel some pressure there before it will let you manually control it. With that being said, if at any time you wanna back up and start the process of auto level all over again, you're gonna to wanna to all retract because the auto level function is not gonna work with those legs extended. So you're gonna all retract first, bring those back feet up and then hit auto level. If at any point you need to stop the process for any reason, any button will stop it or you can just hit the power off and it'll just stop where it is and then you can always regroup and start over. While ours is running, I usually come up and hook up our seven-way cord to get it up and out of the way. 
one of my favorite gadgets from Morai. It is a cord keeper and you simply put the plug through there and then spin it around. Now, this guy is attached via magnet, so it's not a permanent thing. You can put it wherever you want. And then I just hook our breakaway up there so that nothing's hanging down and in the way. So everything finished up just as it was supposed to. It's gone back to the lights are on, the power is on. If there was an error, it would have given us a low voltage or an excess, excess slope. It did not, so we are good to go ahead and finish setting up. Again, I'm going to put in a plug for my favorite harvest host, Settler Post Clasdale Farm in Mechanicsville, Maryland. If you're a harvest host member and you haven't checked out Settler Post, you need to absolutely put it on your list of places to visit. If you've been contemplating harvest host but you're not sure, feel free to ask any questions. We're always happy to give you an answer. And there is a link to save you to get you a discount to a harvest host membership. So you can check that out as well. And until the next time you find us camping, safe travels, y'all.